Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on our channel. Today, we're unveiling a powerful Notion template designed to help you get things done like a productivity pro. If you're eager to supercharge your efficiency and stay on top of your goals, you're in the right place. Don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications so you'll always be in the loop with our latest productivity-enhancing content. Now, let's start getting things done. The Get Things Done method is a productivity system developed by David Allen that aims to help people organize and prioritize their tasks and responsibilities. The basic idea is to capture all of your to-dos and ideas in a central system, process them regularly to determine their importance and urgency, and then take action on the most important tasks. Notion is a flexible tool that allows you to customize your productivity system to fit your needs. You will find in this template a project system to capture all of your tasks and ideas, along with any additional information you might need, such as due dates, priority levels, or project categories. One of the benefits of using a Notion template for GTD is that it can help you stay organized and focused on your priorities. Whether you're a busy professional, a student, or just someone looking to get more organized, these tools can help you stay on top of your to-dos and accomplish more in less time. Let's get started on creating a new project. First, make sure to set the existing template as your default by clicking on the blue arrow located at the top right of your database. This will ensure that when you click on the New button, the page content will appear automatically. Next, head over to the GTD board to begin capturing your tasks. Click on the Inbox page to create your first task. Additionally, you can capture resources that align with your ideas. To do this, simply click on the New button in the Resources section of your capture board. From there, give your resource a name and select from the eight different types of resources available. We'll discuss how to configure this page later, but for now, let's move on to the project overview. Now it's time to change the status of your task to move the project forward. Click on the current stage status to select the next GTD step based on your task progress. You can switch to the next page by clicking on the right arrow at the top left of the page. This page allows you to clarify your task further by adding a starting date and a due date to organize your tasks in a timely manner. You can also establish relationships between tasks to build the perfect workflow for your project. Once you've completed this step, turn the status to Reflect. The next step is to reflect on your tasks and review them regularly to ensure you're staying on track and making progress toward your goals. You can achieve this by scheduling regular check-ins with yourself, setting up reminders or notifications, and adjusting the time as necessary. Finally, it's time to engage with your tasks and take action on them. This means actually doing the work, delegating tasks to others, or deciding to defer or eliminate tasks that are no longer important or necessary. After completing these steps, Head back to your dashboard to view your workflow through a project timeline that reports all your tasks in a timely manner. On this page, you can keep all your resources and organize them by both type and theme. By clicking on the theme or type sections at the left and bottom of your dashboard, you can easily access all your resources. Now, let's open the previous resources we created. This resource is automatically linked with the project you created it in, and the last edited time will update accordingly. To add a cover, you can upload an image from your personal files or paste a link to a web image. If you want to add a new author, simply write their name and click on the New button to open a new page in the author's database, where you can input all the necessary information. 
Alternatively, you can select an author from existing ones. You can also add one or more themes to organize your resources and make them easier to find. The content type will be automatically selected based on your previous selection, but you can change it if needed. Finally, you have the freedom to edit the content of your page however you wish. There are predefined layouts based on the type of content you have chosen, but you can also customize it as you prefer.